welcome to ABC Interactive English. This is Henry, and this is Karen.、Mm-hmm. And today we are looking at our Annie's mailbox, and it's called "What is a friend?"、Mm-hmm. Hmm. Very good question. What is a friend to you, Karen? Well, I think a friend to me is someone who would listen to your problems when you're feeling sad,、mm-hmm. and that is always there. Sometimes, maybe when they're busy, they will put other things aside and they will listen to you,、mm-hmm. and you enjoy spending time together with your friends. And、um, yeah, basically, someone who supports you. They're always there for you. How about you? What is a friend to you? Somebody who will lend me money when I need it. Do you have a lot of friends? No. Okay, that's probably. But I don't、why. need a lot. Of <laughs> hey, listen, you don't need a lot of friends. Okay,、yeah. you just need those few that can lend you money. No, that、okay. cares about you. It's、oh, not about、okay. just lending me money. <laughs> It's about people that are willing to be there for me when I need some help. Exactly. And so, those people are your friends, so you don't need that many. You could just have one.、Even. You could just、it's、have okay. one. Okay. Yes. But it's great to have someone to talk to when you really need to talk. Yeah, and when you really need money. You can go to the bank and get a loan. Yeah, well, yeah, I know, but <laughs> there's an interest. That's true. You know, with a friend, they don't really charge yeah, you interest. Yeah, they won't charge you interest, and you could kind of go, yeah, you know, can I have another couple of weeks? You know, <laughs> you can negotiate are, yeah, with your friend. Yeah, things are a little、friend. tight right now. Yes, Henry. Yeah. Okay. How about you guys? What is a friend to you? You can think about it and tell us. The question for today is: What is Johan like to Harvey? What is Johan like to Harvey? Are you my friend?、Mm, I don't have a lot of money, but I have a lot of time. I don't need a lot of money. <laughs> Just enough. What is a friend? Dear Annie, I think friends should know what you think and what you like. They should also know how you feel. My best friend is named Johan. He is a kind and smart person. When I am unhappy, he can always make me feel better. He is just like a brother. I think that's just what friend means. What do you think about friends? Are they people who can make you happy? Can they help you with problems? No matter what your answer is. I hope you find someone that is a friend to you. Best, Harvey. Explanation one. Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Hanny. Welcome to this month's installment of Annie's Mailbox. Today, we'll be reading a letter from a young man named Harvey.、Hmm. In his letter, Harvey will be telling us all about one of his friends. And about friendships too. Anyway, Harvey's letter is titled "What Is a Friend." Now let's start reading. In the first line of his letter, Harvey writes, "Dear Annie, I think friends should know what you think and what you like."、Hmm, wow! Look at all of that flawless English. Yeah, but don't get too excited, Annie. Harvey's next sentence isn't very good. On the subject of friends, Harvey says, "They should also know what you feel."、Hmm. You see that? You see that, Hanny? <sighs> It looks as though we're going to have to make the first correction of the day right now. Harvey, the word "what" is out of place here and should be replaced by the word "how." Okay. You see, if someone were to ask you about what you feel, as in the question, "What do you feel?" If a person were to ask you about what you feel, they'd be asking you a direct question, perhaps about your perceptions, your immediate surroundings, or something like that. On the other hand, if someone were to ask you about how you feel, As in the question, "How do you feel?" If someone were to ask you about how you feel, they'd be asking you a less direct question about your feelings or your health or your emotional state, etc. For example, "What do you feel?"、Uh, I feel the spider crawling up my arm. You. How do you feel?、Uh, I feel scared by it. 
Harvey 这封信是要告诉我们什么是朋友。他认为呢，朋友应该要能知道你的想法和你的喜好。那他在信件的第二句提到 ，They should also know what you feel。他们也要明白你的感受。Harvey 他还蛮厉害的，他在句子里面使用名词子句 what you feel 来当动词 know 的受词，这个句型结构是没有写错了。不过问题就出在疑问词 what， 它是用来询问什么。What you feel 表示你感觉到什么。好，那根据前后文 ，Harvey 应该是要表达你的感受如何，应该要写作 how you feel， 这样比较恰当。疑问词 how 就是用来询问如何，例如。Molly thinks that nobody understands how she feels. Molly 觉得没有人能了解她的感受。好，再看一个例句。Put your hand inside the box, touch the object, and then tell us what you feel. 把你的手放进箱子里面去触摸那个物品，然后再告诉我们你感觉到什么。好，回到 Harvey 的句子，他只要把疑问词 what 改成 how， 句子就正确了。So the correct sentence should read. They should also know how you feel. Okay, let's move on. Hanny, I've got some bad news. Oh. Harvey's Harvey's next sentence is also pretty bad. He says, "My best friend is named Johan. He is a kind and smart person." Mm, that is a run-on, big time, a run-on sentence. Wow, I guess it's already time. For the second correction of the day, Harvey, why did you not use two sentences here? You have two complete thoughts here having to do with Johan, and that means you also have two complete sentences about him. So, separate these sentences and these thoughts with a period. Capitalize the letter immediately following the period, which is necessary in this case, and then move on. For example, I moved to Taiwan in 2010. My career began to take off that year. Harvey 在信件的下一句提到 ，My best friend is named Johan. He is a kind and smart person. 我最要好的朋友叫做 Johan， 他人很好，也很聪明。那这个句子在口语上呢，没有什么问题，可是，在书写上就有一个明显的错误，也就是逗号的用法。英文的句子结构跟中文是不一样的，我们不能只用逗号来隔开两个完整的句子，除非是有搭配连接词，像是 and、but、so 等等。例如 ，I went to see a doctor yesterday. The doctor advised me to get more rest and drink more water. 我昨天去看医生。医生建议我多休息，多喝水。好，那这是两个完整的句子，各自以句号来结尾。好，再看个例句。Leah sings very well, and she is also good at playing the piano. Leah, 她唱歌唱得很好，而且她也很会弹钢琴。那这边就是用连接词 and 来连接两个完整的句子 ，and 前面要使用逗号。回到 Harvey 的句子，他只要把第一句的句尾逗号改成句号，然后再把第二句的开头 he 改成字首大写的 he， 这样就正确了。So the correct sentences should read. My best friend is named Johan. He is a kind and smart person. Okay, let's move on. In the next line, Harvey continues to say nice things about his friend Johan. When I am unhappy, says Harvey, Johan can always make me feel better. Oh, how nice! Yep, and he's not done raving about Johan either. Harvey has plenty more to say about Johan. I get the feeling that he's going to rave about Johan some more in the answer to the question of the day. What is Johan like to Harvey? Harvey says he just like a brother. Oh, Harvey says he just like a brother. Ugh. Nice thought, but. Also, some bad English there, Harvey. So let's go ahead and make the third correction of the day. Harvey, something is like something else, or something is just like something else, as in the pattern. A is like B. Yeah, you can't forget the word 
is here, Harvey. Otherwise, your sentence, it won't have a verb, which is bad. For example, this tastes just like chicken. The man who cooked this is like a father to me. Harvey 说他不开心的时候，他最要好的朋友 Johan 则是让他心情变好。他就说 ，He just like a brother， 他就像是我的兄弟，我们情同手足。好，当 like 这个字被当成像啊，或是如同来解释的时候，它是当介系词哦。要表达 A 像 B 一样，句型应该是 A 加上 be 动词，加上 like， 加上 be。例如 ，The soap is like a flower。哎，这肥皂好像一朵花哦。我们再看个例句 ：Her best friends are just like her sisters. 她最要好的朋友就像她的好姐妹一样。那回到 Harvey 的句子，她应该要在 he 的后面补上第三人称单数 be 动词 is， 变成 he is just like a brother， 否则句子里面就不会有动词。好，那加上 is， 句子就正确了。接着我们请 Jeff 老师再帮我们念一次正确的句子。So the correct sentence should read. He is just like a brother. Well, Jeff, I must say that Harvey is a lucky guy. Not everyone has a friend like Johan. He's like the perfect friend.、Mm, I completely agree. Harvey sure is in a good friendship. Speaking of friendship, we'll learn more about friendship after a break. So don't go away, you guys. We'll be back soon. <音樂>欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》，文我是悠悠，我是季安。我跟你说， Hi. 我如果要跟人家讲，我这个礼拜超带赛、超衰的啦。英文怎么说？啊、oh.。一开始就这么猛，嗯，嗯这么衰，这么带赛、嗯，我们用 nightmare 这个字好了。nightmare 不是、嗯、噩梦，噩梦吗？梦呓这样哈、嗯，你就可以，你可以说 today has been a nightmare。today has been a nightmare。翻个白眼，嗯，再一次。Today, Today has been a nightmare. 啊，这今天真的是带赛到了极点。今天真是噩梦一场。嗯，好、哦，那如果整个星期都很带赛<笑> ，This whole week has been a nightmare. This whole week has been a nightmare.、嗯、我把眼都翻到鸡眼了啦。<笑>听起来好可怕、哦。嗯，对，那你就我跟你讲，可是可以问说 ，Are you okay 吗？呃，可以啊，但如果那个人真的很衰的时候，他可能就会回你。Do I look like OK？ 哦，很呛哦。对对 ，Do I look like OK？ 哦、oh, ，我是哪里看起来很 OK？ 你哪只眼睛看到觉得我很 OK？ <笑>你说呢？那他怎么办？怎么问？对，还是对，还是要问一下了。对啊，对你还是要关心一下。<笑> What's the matter？ What's the matter？ 或者是 What's wrong？ What's wrong？ 怎么啦？怎么了？可是如果你跟说有个同事很派到底呢、嗯，很难合作。对啊，那就说 He's impossible to work with. He's Impossible to work with. He's impossible to work with. 好，我们这边 impossible 好，如果拿来讲事情的话，就是一件事情不可能。嗯，那我们拿来形容人的话呢，他就他就会变成很难应付啊，很难相处啊，很讨厌，很讨人厌的人。哇，就是那是什么讨厌鬼啦？对，就 impossible person. Impossible person. 他哪里讨厌？比如说开会迟到，不听人家讲话，五四三，然后还爱开黄腔。啊、oh, ，OK， 来。呃，开会总是迟到。对 ，OK， he's always late for meetings. He's oh, he is always late for meetings. 对，不听人家讲话。对，就是不会倾听，那就是、嗯嗯、he is a poor listener. He is a poor listener. 嗯哼，开黄腔对不对？开黄腔，对。啊，开黄腔就是讲一些很肮脏的东西啦。Hey. Tell dirty jokes. Tell dirty jokes.、嗯、就是讲 A 的这样。真的、欸、受不了呢、欸！你知道跟这种这么糟的。同事合作，也是要觉得同情他们，真的。那你说，哦、oh, ，I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that.、嗯就是、同情什么啦？那么糟糕、嗯、啊！哦，那先来看。同情你嘛，同情你哈。好，看一下我们今天的 live action。同情我？嗯。<笑> today has been a nightmare. Oh no! Not only today, this whole week. Has been a nightmare. Whole week. Yeah.、Uh, are you okay? No, no. I am not okay. Do I look like okay? No. What's the matter? It's Tim. 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 He's impossible to 
to work with.、Mm-hmm. But my manager asked me to work on a new project with him. What's wrong with Tim? <gasps> He's always late for meetings. Okay. He's a poor listener, and、uh, what? He likes to tell dirty jokes. Oh, oh! I'm sorry to hear that, but I love dirty jokes. Explanation two. Welcome back, everyone. Today on Annie's mailbox. We've been reading a letter from a young man named Harvey. That's right. So far in his letter, Harvey has been raving about his buddy Johan. Also, don't forget that the title of his letter is "What Is a Friend." Yeah, don't forget that. Why? Why should we not forget this? Because Harvey is going to answer this question right now. Yes, Johan is. Like a brother to Harvey, and to Harvey, that's just what friend means.、Hmm, correct. Okay, everyone, let's start reading the third and final paragraph of today's lesson. Harvey, we learn, is full of questions related to friendship. First of all, he asks Annie, "What did you think about friends?" <sighs> Which just isn't right. What did you? Think about friends. Yeah, it looks like we need to make the fourth correction of the day right this moment. Harvey, the verb do in this case should be in the present tense. Yes, use the present tense. Okay, so what you should have said is, "What do you think about friends?" Yeah, without this change, your question would be weird. You'd be asking Annie what she used to think about friends, what view she took of friends in the past, etc. Weird, right? So yeah, make the change. Okay, say do and not did. For example, what do you think of the president's new policies? Harvey 在信件第三段问 Annie 说 ，What did you think about friends? 你认为何为朋友呢？ Harvey 在句子里面用到过去式助动词 did. What did you think about? 加上名词，哎，这是用来询问过去事情的看法哦。不过，当我们在问别人对一般事物的看法时，助动词应该用现在式才对。例如 ，What do you think about the candidate? 哎，你对于那位候选人有什么看法呢？再看个例句 ，What did you think about the game last night? 昨晚那场比赛你有什么看法呢？回到 Harvey 的句子，他只要把过去式助动词 did 改成现在式 do 就正确了。So the correct sentence should read: What do you think about friends? Okay, next the questions are going to start coming at us fast and furious. All two of them. <laughs> are they people who can make you happy? Says Harvey before asking, Can they help you for problems? Can they help you for, for problems? Oh man, that's bad. <sighs> I say before we read the final lines of Harvey's letter, before we do so, we we'd better make the final correction of the day. Ugh, for problems, Harvey. Let's talk about the word help because you need some help. Now you can help someone something. You can. Help someone with something, or you can help someone to do something. Which brings me to my point: the word "for" is out of place in your sentence, there, Harvey. I suggest you replace the word "for" with the word "with." Ask: Can friends help you with problems? That's what you should say here. For example. She helped him move out of his house. My mom helped me with my homework, or the teacher helped me to solve the problem. Harvey 想知道 Annie 对朋友的定义。他说 ，Are they people who can make you happy? 是不是能让自己开心的人呢 ？Can they help you for problems? 还是能帮助我们解决烦恼的人呢 ？Harvey 的第二个句子他用错介系词了。
。Help 当动词表示帮忙、帮助。那我们要表达帮助某人某事，有两种用法。第一种是搭配原形动词，那句型是 Help。某人加上原形动词，其中的原形动词它其实是有不定词，也就是 to 加原形动词，把 to 省略掉而来的。例如 ，She helped her mom clean up the kitchen。她帮妈妈打扫厨房。好，第二种用法是搭配介系词 with， 那句型是 help 某人 with 某事物。那这个介系词固定使用 with。例如 ，She often helps her sister with homework。他经常协助妹妹写作业。那回到 Harvey 的句子，他只要把介系词 for 改成 with， 变成 help you with problems， 这样句子就正确了。So the correct sentence should read: Can they help you with problems? Okay, with that, this month's Annie's mailbox is almost complete. Yes, everyone, we've now officially reached the final sentence of the day. Radio. It says. No matter what your answer is, I hope you find someone that is a friend to you. Best, Harvey. And there you have it. Also, that does it for this month's Annie's mailbox. And right now, it's time for a break. Right, but don't go away. We'll be right back soon. What is a friend, dear Annie? I think friends should know what you think and what you like. They should also know how you feel. My best friend is named Johan. He is a kind and smart person. When I am unhappy, he can always make me feel better. He is just like a brother. I think that's just what friend means. What do you think about friends? Are they people who can make you happy? Can they help you with problems? No matter what your answer is. I hope you find someone that is a friend to you. Best, Harvey. A sentence a day. Hello, welcome to a sentence a day with me, Henry. 你知道吗？大家在外面出去玩，出去行走，当然玩的开心很重要，可是平安也很重要，所以大家一定要小心。那要小心一点的话呢，租车的时候可以考虑一下，多买一点点保险。The sentence for today is, "I want to buy extra insurance." 我想加购保险 That's right. When you rent a car, if you use your credit card, usually there is already insurance included with your credit card. But if you want to be safe, and it's better to be safe than sorry, buy some extra insurance. Maybe you're traveling with children, right? Just to be safe. Buy some extra insurance so you could have a peace of mind and have a great time without worrying too much.、Mm-hmm. Okay, the sentence for today is: I want to buy extra insurance. I want to buy extra insurance. Might be a good idea. See you next time. Bye bye. Hello, I'm Hanny. 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。今天要用一分钟的时间来复习在 Annie's mailbox 学到的五个文法重点。你要去想想看句子哪里有问题。同学们，您都准备好了没？我准备好了。一分钟计时，开始。第一句就是 They should also know what you feel. 朋友应该要能明白你的感受。注意 ，what you feel 是你感觉得到什么。我们应该要 how you feel， 你感觉如何才对。They should also know how you feel. 第二句是 My best friend is named Johan. He is a kind and smart person. 我最要好的朋友叫做 Johan， 他人好也很聪明。好，注意这段听起来都没有问题。可是这两个是完整的句子，你要个别用一个句点当做句尾，好不好？不要用逗号，除非你有连接词才能用逗号。好，再看第三个句子叫做 He just like a brother， 他就像我的兄弟，我们情投手足。注意 like 你要当像来解释的时候，它是介系词，要搭配 be 动词。A 像 B， A is like B， 所以 He is just like a brother。第四句 What did you think about friends？ 你认为？何为朋友呢？我们要问人家对一般事物的看法。你就用现在式就好。为什么要过去式？所以是 What do you think about friends？ 把 did 改成 do。第五句 ，Can I help you for problems？ 朋友是能帮助我们解决烦恼问题吗？接近是错了。你要说 help somebody with something， 所以要 Can I help you with problems？ 耶、yeah, ，我完成了，去开 party 了。好，不管怎么样，我们今天表现很棒。大家下一个月也要继续努力。今天 A B C Interactive English 到此为止，下次见喽，拜拜。